I'm excited about today's video. I am excited about today's video, you guys, because today we are gonna be talking all about wigs and alopecia. As some of you may already know, I have really, really bad traction alopecia, and I, I actually got traction alopecia because of some poor choices that I made in my early 20s and late teens, including wearing my hair in a lot of extensions that weren't um, installed properly, and also wearing my hair in really, really, really tight ponytail. But you know, after every rainstorm, there is a rainbow, and the rainbow at the end of that rainstorm story and that kind of traumatic experience uh, losing all the hair on the sides of my head and not being able to ever grow it back was that I learned so much about hair pieces, toppers, wigs, and because of that knowledge I'm really able to help a lot of my other clients with alopecia who struggle so much. So this video is made to feature a really really cool wig and a really cool wig company and show you guys a few different ways that I use it, how I install it, how I style it so that it looks fly as hell, super natural and ultra sexy. If that sounds good to you, then subscribe down below and keep on watching. Despite knowing so much about clip-in extensions, semi-permanent extensions, toppers, um, all different types of wigs, the one product that I gravitate towards a lot and recommend a lot to my clients are the lace front wigs. I love how lace front wigs look. This is the wig that I am wearing now. So what a lace front wig is, is it's basically a wig where the whole front section is made out of lace and the hair is tied onto the lace and pulled through. Lace is see-through, so when it gets laid down on your head and on your uh, forehead and scalp area, it really looks like those knotted hairs are growing out of your head. It gives an incredibly realistic look and has been such a game changer in like wig technology. The wig that I'm using today is by a company called Uniwigs. Uniwigs was kind enough to send me this wig for free, but this is not a sponsored video, so I am not making this video to make money off of uni wigs but I gotta tell you when I got the wig in the mail I was pretty mind blown I have owned a ton of wigs um, I've bought really cheap wigs on Aliexpress but I've also worn some pretty expensive wigs from like first lady wigs and I can't believe that I'm saying this but this wig from uni wigs is probably the nicest wig I have ever gotten because I really didn't have to do any modifications to it. Um, sometimes I pluck the hairline so that I open up the part and make it look more natural. I could do this to this wig, but I didn't want to do it for this video so that you guys can get an experience of unboxing something that you buy and putting it right on your head without having to see a hairdresser, without having to do all of those like really um, detailed modifications even without any modifications done this wig is stunning the quality is fantastic the way that the hairline is kind of scattered and spaced out is really 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 well done i find that it looks incredibly natural and it just has fantastic density fantastic um, length and quality and color i don't really see any like weird straggly white hairs which sometimes you get with cheaper wigs uh, nothing like that and the wig retails for just over 600 dollars which is an absolute freaking steal for hair that's this thick this long and humid if you are looking for a wig then go check them out you can use my code which is in the description box below again I make no money off of it and you can kind of get a taste of like the different types of wigs that they offer and their price range it's really, really shocking to me how good this wig actually is. Before we get started, if you have alopecia and you are new to the world of wigs, or if you don't have alopecia and you're new to the world of wigs, I wanna tell you a few reasons why I am a wig lover. Reason number one is that your wig is always styled. So when you first get it, it, it's a bit messy and stuff because it's been packaged and you're gonna see that in the clips when I put this on, but then you style it, you wear it, you brush it, you put it away, and it's pretty much styled all the time. You are not working out in it, you are not sleeping in it, you are not showering with it so the humidity is not getting to it, so the hair really lasts a really long time you know, significantly more than a semi-permanent extension, like a nano length, micro length tape in, you know, it lasts much longer than those would last because it doesn't have the wear and tear that you put extensions through and that you even put your own hair through. Reason number two that I love wigs is that you can do extreme changes in length 
and in color. So if you have very short hair and you want hair that is this long, it's kind of difficult to do it even with like a tape and extension, which even fills the hair in quite nicely. And the reason it's difficult is because there's going to be a demarcation from your hair to the length of the extension. So you're either gonna have to install a ton of hair to blend that out, or it's just not really gonna be possible and you're gonna have to style your hair in creative ways to hide the demarcation. This happens a lot in my clients with very blunt bobs when they want that really long extension. Because no hair is left out, with a wig, you don't have any demarcation. You don't have to worry about blending any of that out. And you can also do really crazy color changes that you would never be able to. And reason number three is very similar to reason number two. You can really experiment with your hair and experiment with different looks without any commitment. So that could, you know, even mean length but reverse so say you have really long hair and you want to try a bob or a long bob you can wear a long bobbed wig or you want to even do a pixie cut they have tons of pixie cut wigs out there as well so that's really really cool and then of course there's a color thing that you can really experiment with too the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put our wig cap on. When you are putting a wig cap on, you wanna make sure that your hair under that wig cap is as flat as possible. Because my hair is so fine, it's very easy to do this. But if your hair isn't so fine, you can wrap your hair around your head and then put the wig cap on over top of that. Now you can see that your hair comes with a ton of extra lace. What I like to do is actually put my hair on my head. I like to see where it's sitting and then go in with very sharp scissors and cut as close to the first knot as I can without going so far that I'm losing that line of hair. So just be really, really careful with this because it is pretty tricky. I even like to take it off my head after I do my preliminary cut and do some of the detailing work off the head. Now you're gonna grab your got to be spray glue. This is an amazing trick to keep your wig staying on your head. You are gonna spray your hairline with this hairspray. It's a super, super, super crazy strong hairspray. You're gonna put your wig on and then you're just gonna make sure that all of your edges and all of your hairline is lining up really, really nicely with your natural hairline and you're gonna push it into that got to be spray. That is gonna kind of make the wig stick to your face and not move. There is a huge problem with wigs looking fake when the hairline starts moving back and you can see your hair starting. So you could just do that, hold it in place, let it set, and then bam, your wig's not going anywhere. Now, in order to blend the lace on the actual part line, you wanna use a little bit of the foundation you're using on your face. I just go right in with a nice pack, tight little packing brush and I just draw around the hairline and I use my fingers to blend everything through. So now it looks like the lace is actually coming out of my head and, and you can't see underneath that it's a wig cap. If you are getting any types of lines or marks, just buff your, your hairline with some bronzer and grab a little brush and kind of brush through that concealer so it's not too patchy and away you go. All right, so I wanna show you what this wig looks like straight first. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna section your hair like you normally would section regular hair when straightening it. You're gonna go through your hair, you're gonna brush out all of the knots and very smoothly and carefully, you're gonna do one to two passes for every strand until you get that nice glossy silky result that you are looking for. If you find that the root section or the very top section of your hair is a little puffy, that can happen sometimes, you wanna grab the hot part of your iron and just kind of push it down and lay it into the lace. And there you go, there is wig number one, completely straight. I'm loving it, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful and sexy. All right, look number two, here is a one inch curling wand. I'm just gonna wrap my hair around the curling wand, always wrapping away from the face on both sides, using one inch sections, holding until I feel that the heat is kind of saturated through the hair, unraveling, and releasing. I like to leave the ends out so that it looks really, really modern, but like how gorgeous does this wig look when you add some wave and some bounce to it? 
Now that we see what this beautiful wig looks like when it's straight and when it's wavy, I want to show you two different hairstyles that I do with my wigs a lot that are super, super easy. In hairstyle number one, all you're going to do is you're going to grab that crown area of your head and you are going to pin it with bobby pins. You're just going to crisscross the pins. Then you're going to grab one side of the head, just a little bit of hair. You're going to cross it over and pin it in and do the exact same on the other side. You end up with the most beautiful look. I actually do this a lot on brides and it's super, super easy. You can even start adding in little accessories here so that you get just like a really bridally, formal, adorable look. You can really spice it up with accessories or just leave it as is for like a daytime look. I really like leaving out a lot of softness here at the front. It helps to hide the lace. Um, it doesn't make it look as wiggy, but you know, when you take away some of the hair here, it doesn't feel as full. And if it doesn't feel as full, it doesn't feel as fake. This is a problem that I think a lot of people who wear wigs have when they're not used to it. It just feels like not real. And I think a big part of the reason for that is because of the density. So just taking a little bit of hair away gives you like that softness and that framing, but it uh, looks really, really cute and it's really easy to do. In look number two, what you can also do is grab the sides of the hair, do a nice, thick, chunky braid, pull it out a little bit and just tie it at the back with an elastic. This is so simple, but looks adorable. It looks so good with this type of hair. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something new today. If you have any questions about your alopecia or any questions about mine and how I've dealt with it, leave it in the comment section below. I love getting your comments and I definitely take the time to respond. I'll see you next week. Bye.